Hi, and welcome to the BIM Cloud Under the Hood presentation. This video is recommended for all Graphisoft BIM server users, as well as for those who wish to discover the in-depth features and technology used by the Graphisoft BIM Cloud. Graphisoft's BIM Cloud is a product, not a service. Graphisoft already had a collaboration platform called BIM Server, which was real-time, robust, and flexible. BIM Cloud adds scalability and integration for its users. What does BIM Cloud mean for ARCHICAD users? For many companies, it wasn't enough to run one BIM server. They had to run multiple servers in parallel with each other. Each of these BIM servers had to be managed separately. In order to make their lives easier, we split the BIM server into two different parts, the management and the model handling components. Once they were separated, it was easy to unite all the management functions in a single location. From this point, there was only one interface where users could manage their servers with the ability to control all the BIM Cloud servers in their company. The main differences between the BIM Server and BIM Cloud are the following. BIM Server is still part of ARCHICAD. If you purchase ARCHICAD, you can install BIM Server. BIM Cloud is a separate product that can be purchased separately. BIM Server is free, but it needs to be activated with the Graphisoft ID. BIM Server can support only one version on one management interface, while BIM Cloud can support multiple BIM Cloud versions through a single interface. We plan to continue both of these products in the future as well, but we're not planning on adding new features to BIM Server. From a performance point of view, BIM Server allows users to scale their resources vertically, while BIM Cloud allows them to scale their resources horizontally as well. Vertical scaling means adding CPU power and RAM to a simple computer. Horizontal scalability means that multiple computers can be put next to each other acting as one BIM Cloud for the user. BIM Server does not allow horizontal scalability. There are two differences between BIM Server 17 and 18. The first is that BIM Server 18 requires an activation, which is free, prior to its first use. The second is that BIM Server 18 limits the number of modules to one, while BIM Server 17 and earlier versions allowed the installation of multiple modules to the same BIM server. In the future, you'll be able to install multiple different version BIM servers to the same computer, but they will have to be managed separately. BIM Cloud consists of three main components, the BIM Cloud Manager, the BIM Cloud Server, and the BIM Cloud Delta Cache. The BIM Cloud Manager is the main and must-have component of the entire system. This is the gateway from which all connections start. A company needs only one BIM Cloud Manager in the office. This is where the managers store the users, project's logical structure, the roles, and libraries. This component provides the browser-based management interface as well. BIM Cloud servers are the components that work together with ARCHICAD while using Teamwork. Multiple BIM Cloud servers can be set up in the office according to the resource needs. This stores the model, and ARCHICAD communicates with the BIM Cloud server every time a model is sent or received. The BIM Cloud Delta Cache component optimizes the bandwidth usage in remote offices by caching the model information on the client side. The BIM server is a simplified bundle of a management and a model component. The user cannot see them separately, the installer installs them in a single step. The connections between the BIM Cloud components are the following. On the left-hand side is the client side, where the browser, cache, and ARCHICAD are located. On the right-hand side are the servers, which manage all the communication toward the client side. These are the BIM Cloud server, the BIM Cloud manager, and the user directory that the BIM Cloud manager connects to. When a user starts working in the morning, he first enters his username and password into ARCHICAD. ARCHICAD will then check the username and the password in the BIM Cloud Manager. If they're correct, the BIM Cloud Manager will provide a list of available projects for the ARCHICAD user to choose from. The user picks his project from the list, and then ARCHICAD will learn from the BIM Cloud Manager that this project is located in one of the BIM Cloud servers. From this point, ARCHICAD will continue to communicate with this BIM Cloud server. When the user is sending and receiving, the information will travel between ARCHICAD and the BIM Cloud server. When there's a large amount of data to be downloaded from the BIM Cloud server, 
ARCHICAD will go to the BIM Cloud proxy and check if this data is already available locally on the BIM Cloud proxy. If it is, the BIM Cloud proxy will return it to ARCHICAD and the work can continue. If the data is not yet available on the BIM Cloud proxy, the proxy will go to the BIM Cloud server, download this data locally, and send it back to ARCHICAD. For the next ARCHICAD user who requests the same data, it will already be available on the BIM Cloud proxy. While working, every now and then ARCHICAD will go back to the BIM Cloud Manager to see if the permissions have changed on the server or not, if the username and password are still correct, and to see if the project is still located on the same BIM Cloud server. Since these BIM Cloud servers can be dispersed worldwide, we must ensure that no one else can access these components. To ensure this, the BIM Cloud Manager and the BIM Cloud Server exchange secure keys during the setup and the pairing process. This ensures that the BIM Cloud Server will not accept any kind of outside communication from other BIM Cloud Managers, even if the exact URL of the server is known by an intruder. So it's not possible to hijack the BIM Cloud Server containing your sensitive projects. Before installing BIM Cloud, please consider the following. Where do you want to access your BIM Cloud from? Do you need secure access, or are you satisfied with the regular HTTP communication? How many offices do you have? You may need to install BIM Cloud in the remote locations. Here is a simple multi-office layout where the offices are connected by a virtual private network, or VPN. In IT terms, this means that these offices are located on the local area network and doesn't require any special setup. However, if there is a regular internet connection between these offices, then we must ensure that all the addresses of the various BIM Cloud components are unique, and all the ARCHICADs are able to access it from anywhere and at any time. The same applies when you want to access your BIM Cloud from outside the office. Make sure that each component has only one URL address and that these addresses are accessible from any of these locations. Once you have all the prerequisites for the installation, just pop in the BIM Cloud DVD, which will ask you if you want a new BIM Cloud or if you want to extend an existing one. The answer is very easy. If you do not have BIM Cloud in your office, select the first one and then decide which components you would like to install. If you already have BIM Cloud, then most likely you'll want to extend it with additional components, so select the second option. The BIM server installation is even simpler because you don't have to answer any questions. Just pop in the ARCHICAD DVD, select BIM server installation, and the setup will begin automatically. If you decide later to upgrade your BIM server to BIM Cloud, it's also a very simple process. Just insert the BIM Cloud DVD into your BIM server computer, and you will be asked if you want to upgrade or not. If you choose to upgrade to BIM Cloud, it will keep all your projects, users, and roles. The ARCHICAD clients will not notice that you've upgraded from BIM Server to BIM Cloud. They can continue working without any interruption. Licensing of the BIM Cloud scales with its use. There are two scalable components in our system. The first one is the BIM Cloud Server. The more projects you have in the office, the more resources you need. That's why you'll need to introduce more and more BIM Cloud servers. Each newly installed BIM Cloud server requires an additional BIM Cloud server license. Also, each user connecting to the BIM Cloud requires a license. As your user base grows, you'll need more client access licenses. To summarize, you'll need a BIM Cloud Manager license, just one for the entire company, and you'll need multiple BIM Cloud server licenses depending on the number of projects you have. You will also need a client access license for each connecting ARCHICAD. As I mentioned, BIM Server is free. The only requirement is that you activate it with a Graphisoft ID, which is also free. You can also use your Facebook or Google login to activate the BIM Server. When the installation is finished, you'll be able to access the BIM Server Manager user interface from the browser. Just enter the same URL that you used to access the server from ARCHICAD, and you'll reach a similar user interface, as you see here. This user interface is not only for managing BIM Cloud projects. It's also for all users who have less permissions on the server. In this case, Paul only has permission to access projects, so all the extra links and entry points for the roles, the users, the servers, etc. are not available to him. 
The number of these entry points depends on the available permissions of the user on the BIM cloud. From the left-hand side, you can select elements, and on the right-hand side, you'll see general information about these elements. The layouts of all the components that we host on the BIM cloud are very similar, so you don't have to learn different layouts for them. We host projects, users, roles, libraries, and servers on this BIM cloud. And of course, the management interface provides management tools and functions for all five of them. The project's logical location in the folder structure and the physical location on the computer system are completely separated. The ARCHICAD users and the CAD manager are responsible for the logical location of the projects in the folder hierarchy. The IT manager is responsible for the physical location of the data. In other words, which BIM cloud server is hosting what part of a particular project. Projects can be moved between BIM Cloud servers without affecting the location in the project tree. If a project has been moved from one server to another, ARCHICAD users will not even realize it's been moved. The logical location of the project in the folder hierarchy is not changed. Users can be organized into groups which help you represent your company's organization chart. If you have a lot of users, you can connect your BIM Cloud to the company user directory and import all or only selected users from this directory. In addition to importing, it's also able to regularly synchronize this user base. If someone changes a password in the user directory, this new password will automatically be imported into the BIM Cloud Manager and the BIM Cloud as well. If a new employee joins your office, you can add him to the user directory. His information can be automatically imported to the BIM Cloud. In addition to the existing roles in the BIM server where you are able to control the permissions of the users within ARCHICAD, for example what they're allowed to do such as create layers, modify materials, or create model elements, BIM Cloud also provides permissions for the management side. In other words, you can fine-tune which user can, for example, edit roles, which other users can restart a particular BIM Cloud server, or which users can create user groups. These additional management permissions are very detailed you can fine-tune your management roles with them. As you can see at the bottom, you even have a permission that you can assign users who are allowed to manage licenses on the server. The servers can be located anywhere in the world and can still be connected to the same BIM Cloud system. As you can see, some of the servers are located on Amazon's virtual computers, others are in London, and there are also a few inside the office. The folder structure helps the server manager identify the location of the servers. Since there are a large number of users and projects on the server, managing them separately would be a very tiresome process. To make life easier, BIM Cloud has an inheritance function. Any setting applied on a higher level is inherited downwards in the project tree. These settings could be the access settings, backup schedules, and the host servers. Here is an example of the backups. On the screen, you can see that the ARCHICAD 17 template project has been selected and the backup schedule says that it's inherited from the project root. If you look on the left-hand side, you'll see the path where the inheritance was working its way down. At any level, it's possible to override these default settings with a local one, and from that point, any lower elements in the tree will inherit this new setting. The access setting is very similar. You can define access on higher levels. This access setting will also apply to lower level elements that you can always extend with additional users and roles. Every item on the BIM Cloud has an access control panel. This panel describes who can do what with the selected element. In this case, the Tokyo Mall project is selected and the access panel shows that Gabor has draftsman permissions for the Tokyo Mall project. All these detailed permissions would require a lot of attention to ensure that the users are always able to find their projects. In this example, Paul is working on the BIM Cloud, but he only has access to the Pub project. For a CAD manager, it would mean that he has to give Paul access to the commercial folder and the UK folder as well, so Paul will be able to browse these folders and move through the hierarchy to the Pub. It would be a very difficult and error-prone process to always make sure that access is given not only to a project, but to the project path as well. That's where traversing comes into play in the BIM Cloud. Traversing ensures that if a user has access to any of the items in the project tree, then the shortest path leading to that project tree will automatically be visible to the user. As a result, 
the CAD manager doesn't have to worry about Paul finding the pub, because BIM Cloud will help him find it. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this presentation.